Yo, I got Gnarly Artie on my team, dude. Gnarly Artie. That's his IG? Is that his IG? Gnarly Artie? Gnarly Artie. Oh, I found him. He's on a motorcycle. Gunfight. Ride your motorcycle today. Oh, what's up, man? No, I didn't. Dude. I haven't actually ridden it in like a couple weeks. Fun, though. But it's just fucking hot, bro. Putting on like a jacket and shit. What's this guy do for work? He seems so cool. What do you do for work? I saw you in like one of those fucking suits with the nodes all over. I do mocap for like cartoon characters, but my main job is like I do videography for like weddings and shit. I do a Netflix show. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a cartoon show. It's, the last. it's for like babies, bro. I'll watch it. You watch it? Alright, it's called Word Party. <laughs> Word Party? Alright, alright. Like babies love me, bro. Not in like a pedo way though, but like they love me. <laughs> What character are you? I played the wallaby, it's like a kangaroo. Yeah, that's fucking cool. How did you get into that shit? I was a, I was a production assistant at a, on a PBS show, and then they liked my energy, and they oh, asked nice. me if I wanted to do it, and I said, "All right." That's awesome. We're taking the objective. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna win this. I'm winning this shit with my boy Gnarly Artie. Okay. Match point. Take this, we take it all. <laughs> GG, dude. I gotta stalk you. Do it. Uh, check TikTok. What am I doing, man? Doing the happy I got content dance? Is that what this is? Is that what we're calling it now? Happy I met a cool person on Call of Duty and they provided me with content and an intriguing conversation all at the same time. Look what this dude said to me. Like, look. Uh, you can't see that. All right, so that was the full video of the uh, Gnarly Artie clip. His name is Arthur, cool guy. I'm really happy to have met him. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit of story about networking on Call of Duty. I don't really think of video games as like a networking opportunity. Neither did I. You know, I just want to tell you guys about this one thing that happened to me that kind of changed the course of my life. And it was because I met somebody on Call of Duty. Um, when I was 14, 15 years old, I met these two twins that we, we played a lot of um, like Modern Warfare 2 Search and Destroy together, and we were going for trick shots and, and stuff like that together. He, they were on my team. Um, you know, it was good times. I met them. We played together probably for about a year, maybe two years, and kind of went our separate ways. We were both around 14, 15. We just kind of grew apart. Whatever. Never heard from them again. I had them added on Facebook, though, because I was like, hey, cool people. They kind of lived in the area, actually. They lived like 20 minutes away, but neither, none of us had cars, so we didn't, we didn't meet up or anything. We never met ever but one day back in 2017 i saw my friend from call of duty from like seven eight years ago post on facebook about a job that was hiring at the place he's working or like a recruiter that makes you know seventy thousand a year you know whatever like all this great stuff all my credentials fit like i need the sales experience i had it management experience i had it i was in a good position to get that job not only was i in a good position brian the guy who I had met on Call of Duty, remembered me, and pushed me through to the final interview. Now, if he hadn't done that, I really don't think I would have taken that job, and I don't think that my life would be going the same way it is now. Because I took that job, I realized some things about myself. Like I don't really want to work in a super high-stress, high-paced environment. I did that job for about a year. I made good money, and I was like, you know what? This can't be my life. For the rest of my life, I just personally can't do it. It was also a very social job, and I am quite a timid quiet guy so it was a little bit a little bit taxing in that way but all i really wanted to like bring to your attention is like i was able to get probably the best highest paying job of my career through a guy that i met on call of duty years prior um now i'm happy i met arthur i really don't think anything will come out of that connection but you know who knows i also used to be on a fucking call of duty team with ryan trahan do i think he remembers me probably not He's gone on to do amazing things, and congrats to him. I just wanted to make sure you know to value your friendships and the relationships that you make on Call of Duty and on any other video game, on Discord, whatever, because those people could actually make a big impact on your real life. Um, anyways, didn't mean to get too deep, but uh, I'm really excited for Modern Warfare 2 to come out. I don't have access to the PlayStation early, early beta because I don't have a PlayStation, but I will be making content on the open beta when that drops next week. And hopefully I'll be back to making as much content as possible when the game fully drops. So thank you for sticking around. If you're still here, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.